Julian! You authorized my father's cremation? That's right. Well, I don't believe this. What gives you the right to authorize something like that without even consulting with my family? Who the hell do you think you are? And what are you up to? I asked you a question, Crane. What are you up to? Up to, I'm not did up you to or anything. Did you not authorize my father's cremation? Yes, I did. Well, why in the world? I was would only you? doing what I thought was best for your family. Best for my family? Taking my father's body without our permission or knowledge? Look, if I hadn't tracked you down, my father's body would be ashes by now. Now, how in the hell do you consider that doing what's best for my family? If you just calm down. Calm please. down. Calm down. My father is dead. My family is mourning, and you're trying to add to our pain by stealing my father's I body. I didn't steal the body. Do you have any idea of what kind of pain our family is going through right now? Well, I could only imagine. I, Pilar, to have lost your husband and you, Louise, to have lost your father, I mean, in such a way. I mean, you must be torn up inside knowing that you chose Sheridan over your own father. Julian! What an insensitive thing to say! What? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to be. I, in fact, I, I'm very grateful. My entire family is grateful that you... you saved my sister. What's that got to do with well, it? Out of yet? that gratitude, I was hoping to do something in return for your family. Yeah, by stealing my father's body? No, by trying to alleviate some of the emotional and financial hardship your family must be going through by helping you out with the funeral arrangements. What? Pilar, you've worked for the Cranes for years. We consider you not only a valued employee, but a trusted friend. My only intention for doing this was to help you with the financial strain, as well as having to make such painful decisions in your time of, of loss and grief. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Crane. But the Lopez Fitzgeralds take care of their own. That is, if they are our own. Well, what do you mean? Even if I was to believe your story, and I'm not sure that I do, I still want to know how you could ever possibly think that you could make such an important decision for my family. And additionally, why you would decide to have my father cremated. Why not a burial? Why a cremation? There isn't a threat anymore. Pilar will bury Martin and the whole episode will be forgotten. Don't argue, damn it. Do what I say. Get rid of Martin's body. Now. I want an answer, Crane. Why'd you decide to have my father cremated? Answer me, Crane. Why'd you arrange to have my father cremated? That's what he told me he wanted. Martin told you. What are you talking about? He told you. We had a chat once and. You talked to him. When? Years ago. My father was only a lowly worker at Crane Industries. Now, why in the world would Alistair's son, the owner, condescend to talk to him? See, I, I, I'm not the snob that you take me for, Louise. Right. Just get on with it. Well, many years ago, obviously when your father still worked for the company, a, a family member of mine passed away, my great uncle Thaddeus. Uh, uncle Thad and I were very close. The man taught me everything I know about brandy. I was quite devastated by his, his passing. I was touring the floor the day after his death, and, and Martin came up to me and very kindly offered his condolences. And we started talking, and Martin waxed quite philosophical about death and he had that Irish gift of gab you know, the ability to come up with just the right word a phrase that could lift someone's spirits didn't he Pilar yes he did <laughs> yeah, well, anyway somehow or other we got on the subject of how we wanted to be buried and Martin said he wanted to be cremated he was quite adamant about it he said he didn't want his death to be a financial burden on his family he'd rather you all just had a good old-fashioned Irish wake for him and Remembering that, remembering that was his wish, I authorized the cremation. Mama, Papa ever say anything to you about wanting to be cremated? Never. But then we never discussed funeral arrangements. There was no need. We thought there was much time. To... Well, it's a good thing that Martin and I had our discussion years ago. You may not have known what he wanted. I'll tell you what's a good thing. It's a good thing that we stopped the cremation. Because there's a question as to whether or not this really is the Martin Fitzgerald. What are you talking about? Of course it's Martin. Maybe not. Well, why would you think otherwise? The man admitted it, didn't he? I mean, he, he, he called you 
son, didn't he say he was your father? Yes, but... Well, there you go. The man is Martin Fitzgerald. I don't believe it. But why? Because I don't. In my heart, I don't believe that is my husband. Pilar, I, I know you're distraught and you don't want to believe that Martin could have done the things that he did, but all the evidence points to... My mother's not certain. And I want her to be. For her peace of mind, and mine, and my family's. Well, all right, then how can we be certain? Martin had a scar just behind his right ear. My mother wants to look at the body. See if the scar's there. Pilar, do you really want to put yourself through this? Yes, I have to be certain. We want to look at the body. It's not his decision. We're family. Now open that casket. Open it. Mama? No, I'll do it. Can you see if the scar's there? No. The beard covers it. Is there some way that... Yes. I have to get a razor and shave the area. Sir, is this really necessary, Louise? It's the only way we're going to be able to see whether or not there's a scar behind the right ear. Now get a razor and do it. What's really going on here, Julian? Going on? Why did you really want to have Martin's body cremated? What are you up to? I'm not up to anything, dear sister, as I said. I'm only trying to help. Why am I finding that so hard to believe? Perhaps because you've been hanging around with little Luis too much recently. I could ask the same thing. What are you up to with him? I told you there is nothing going on between me and Luis. Well, considering you seem to trust him more than your own brother, all I have to say is why do I find that hard to believe? <sighs> You can close the casket. Well? The scar's there. It's my father. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Should we move forward with the cremation? I think it would be wise. It's what your father wanted. Louis. No. Why prolong this agony? Think of your poor Look, mother. this is none of your business, Julian. Now stay out of it. We'll move forward with the funeral. And we'll do what Father wanted. We should go, Julian, and let Luis and Pilar have time to grieve alone. Of course. I wish things had turned out differently, Pilar, but if there's anything I or my family can do, you... Thank you. I'm sorry, Luis. I'm so terribly sorry. Pilar, if there's anything all that I can do. Thank you, Sheridan. You've done so much. I told them it was Martin. This is what I wanted to spare them, this kind of pain. I didn't want to see Pilar and her family suffer like this. Maybe I was wrong about you. I'm not the monster everyone makes me out to be, you know. Mm. Sherry, uh, did you make it to the crematorium in time? Yes. I 
have some bad news, Teresa. Your mother checked the body, and the scar was definitely there. The man that died is definitely your father. Papa's dead. Papa's dead. I'm so sorry, Teresa. Is there anything that we can do? I, I just want to be alone. Ethan, I have to go to the office and get some papers. Hey, I'll, I'll go with you. No, sweetie, that's okay. I have a lot of work to do. I'm so sorry for Teresa's family, especially Luis. When he saw that scar, it just hit him so hard. I'm sure. I just wish that there was something I could do. Perhaps you and I can help pay for the funeral expenses. Well, that offer has already been made at the crematorium by Julian. My father volunteered to help pay for the funeral? Not only that. But he was the one who tried to have Martin Fitzgerald cremated in the first place.